Hey guys, so this is a huge, huge call to action for everyone right now. Um, earlier on today, the water protectors here in Mississippi Stand, in Sandusky, Iowa, peacefully protected the only dump site. So to start again, earlier today, the water protectors here in Sandusky, Iowa, peacefully protected the only dump site from the drill. What that means is the toxic sludge they're pulling up and they're dumping, they can no longer do. But what we need now is we need you. This dump site is at 2831 Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa, 52639. What we're doing is we're asking if people can come and stand with us. Now, we're not going to be camping. We're simply going to be standing there. We have plenty of vehicles. We would advise people to come with warm clothes and food. If you have an RV or a camper or some form of food truck, that would be awesome. But we're looking to hold that space for as long as possible. When the officers were down earlier, Lee County informed us that where we were, we were perfectly okay to be. We couldn't put up structures. So if we have a thousand people standing there peacefully in solidarity with our brothers and sisters up at Standing Rock and we're not going to sit, we're going to stand and we're going to take turns standing and holding the signs. Elizabeth, I know that you run partly the Medicine Tribe page. If you can get this out there on that and you can call people, anyone in the Iowa area to come down, anyone in the Minneapolis area, start making your way here. Come and stand with us peacefully and let's protect this site for as long as possible. Because the, as long as we stay there, the drill cannot run because they have nowhere to put the sludge. And just so you know, where they're dumping the sludge is in unlined pits that are dug into the ground to go straight into the water system. So right now, we're calling everyone to come down. We advise you to bring warm clothes. Yes, please do share. Thank you to everyone who's sharing this. Please share this. Elizabeth, if you know any of the other moderators for that site, please share it with them. If any of you know any news, if any of you know any big social media people, if you know anyone with an RV or a camper or a bus, any buses, we'd be happy to have a bus come down and sit there peacefully with us, protecting the land, giving us a place to stay warm. Well, we make sure that this drill that was drilling under the Mississippi and tearing the world apart for, the, for, the, for big oil, for money, for profit, is no longer able to do that. The police, in fact, left the site. They made sure everything was safe. They told us we were okay to be where we needed to be. As long as we didn't go any further, we were on public land. And they left. So we're asking everyone to come down so we can hold that space. As long as we hold that space, they cannot drill. As long as they can't drill, they can't finish this pipeline. As long as we hold that space, we are hurting them where it hurts in their pocket. They're already over budget. They're already paying out of their pocket. We already got banks that are pulling and looking at pulling their funding. So everyone who's on this right now, all 10 of you share it. Share it again and again and again. And once again, the address is in the description, but I will give it to you if you have a pen handy. If you know people in Iowa, start calling your friends list. Start calling people you know. The address is 2831 Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa. Zip code is 52639. If you go on to MississippiStand.com, there's also a phone number there for contacting us. Bring as many people down as you can. The more people we have standing there, the longer we're able to peacefully hold that space. We're protecting that space. There are warriors right now who are locked down in the road so nothing can come through. Slider Joe, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to jump on your show tonight. I will do my best. But if you can put that message out, if you can put the message from this live video feed out, so we started this morning, if you missed it, we started with a funeral procession for all the lives that have been lost in this country and overseas fighting over big oil. The lady who's locked down there is a disabled lady who lost her son the day after his 23rd birthday. Him and four friends were told to take a dirt road in Afghanistan. 
at any cost for the oil tankers to get through. Well, at any cost was their lives. They all lost their lives. So she said no more. She said no more. And she is, her and her and her service dog are locked down together in this roadway. This needs to get out onto news media. We need news media here covering this, seeing what's going on and explaining what's happening. Because the big media is silent, but you know what? We have people power. It's up to us. If we share this and keep this sharing, they can't stop us. Keep sharing this live feed. Make your own video. Tell people where they're coming. Tell people to come to Montrose, Iowa. Tell them the address, 2831 Highway 61, 52639. Let them know that this isn't camping. This is standing. We're all going to stand peacefully. We're going to stand with signs saying, Water is life. Mini Wakoni. Water is sacred. No more big oil. No more people. No more profits over people. No more lives lost fighting for oil and money in places we don't even need to be. So share this. Keep sharing this. But hey, Mississippi Stand. Hashtag Mississippi Stand. Mississippi Stand. Standing in solidarity with our brothers and sisters at Standing Rock. Yes, they're the ones who are facing batons and tear gas for little girls and elders that are praying. They're dragging them out of lines. They're arresting press. But down here on the other end of the pipeline, it's the same pipeline, people. But we can stop it on this end. We can stop it because right now, if they can't dump what, the, what they're pulling up from that pipeline, what they're pulling up from that drilling, that drill can't run. If that drill can't run, we're hurting them in their pocket. So we need you to come and stand with us. Please come and stand in peace and solidarity. We are protectors. We are not protesters. We are peaceful warriors who have love in our heart. We have the weapon of love against hate. You see this smile? This smile makes the difference. These words make a difference. Everyone who shares it makes a difference. If you know people with buses, campers, RVs, that's really going to help us hold the space. If you're a truck driver, if you've got a semi and you're sick of seeing what's going on, or you've got, a, you've got an uncle with a semi, get hold of them. Get hold of them and let them know. Let them know to come and stand with us. The more people, the longer we can hold this space. The longer we hold this space, the longer the drill doesn't work. The longer the drill doesn't work, the more money it costs them. The more money it costs them, the slower it is to finish this pipeline. And they already are struggling money-wise. Karen Wolfire, I know you know lots of musicians. I know you're in Madison. Madison is stepping up and doing some, doing some amazing things right now. Dapple has less than six months on the building permit. Every day, every day that we stop them is a day that they're slowed down, is a day they're not drilling, is making a difference, is stopping this. So we are protectors, not protesters. That is right. Amber May, share this. Reach out to musicians. Reach out to people you know with big social media because they're the people that are going to make a difference. If anyone has connections with actors, if anyone has connections with writers, with TV stars, with radio stars, any connections you know, reach out to them. Let them know. If anyone knows any of the online media outlets, anyone knows people at Unicorn Riot, if anyone knows people at Democracy Now!, Now This, any of those viral sites, let's reach out to them. Let's get them here. If anyone has big connections in the in indigenous networks, let's get them here too. We're standing. We're standing with them. Standing Rock in solidarity. And the more people we have here, the longer we hold that space, guys. So bring warm clothes. Bring smiles, bring love in your heart and come and join us today, tonight. We're looking to have as many people there by nightfall tonight to stand all night. We've got food that will be coming. We've got warm clothes. We've got cars there. We've got everything we need. We just need more people. You know, let's make it so there are no more lives lost over big oil. Big oil isn't why people sign up to fight. Big oil isn't why 23-year-olds die in countries that you don't even barely see. This is about money, people. So while it's not working, while that drill isn't working, it's costing them money. Every day it's costing them money. It's closer and closer to shutting this down. So people power, stand up. It is up to us. 
Stand up, come join us and stand with us and help close this down. And let's find a new way because there's always sunshine, there's always sea power, we have green energy. There are ways to change this and we can change this. This is for future generations. You know, maybe we haven't had the best opportunity with what's going on, but we can be sure that our grandchildren and their grandchildren have it. Look it up on a map. I'm not sure of Iowa or Elizabeth. I don't think it's that far from Sioux City. Um, maybe my friend can say, how far from Sioux City are we? Do you know? Nah, I'm not sure. Check it out on the map and, uh, and then post it in the comments. Um, I know it's about an hour. It's about an hour and 25 minutes from Iowa City. City. Um, yeah, if you know any local press in Iowa, get them down. Hey, Sherry, so glad you jumped on. Looking for RVs, looking for campers, looking for people to come and stand, looking for people to share this video right now into as many groups as possible. Let people know what's happening. We are now protecting the, drip, the sludge dumping site that is running into groundwater. We are protecting that as peaceful protectors. And the site is at 2831 US Highway 61 in Montrose, Iowa. The zip code is 52639. Let's keep this going, guys. Let's keep this sharing into groups, onto pages, tagging friends. Grady guy, tag all your friends. Get this out to as many people as possible. We need as many people down here tonight by nightfall. And when you're down here, bring some warm clothes, bring love in your hearts, and come and stand peacefully with us. We have signs for you. We have food. We have, we have love, more hugs than you can possibly ever want. And... You know, without you here, it's hard to hold this down. But if we get a hundred people down here, it's easier. If we get a thousand people down here, we can hold this down for a very long time. We can dig in. We need these people down. We need you to come and stand with us. Stand with us in solidarity. This is why we're doing it. We're doing it, as you see, walking into Walmart here. You see, these are the future generations. These are the people we're doing it for. These are the people right here, right now. So Grady, come on down, come on down to 2831 US Highway 61, Montrose, Iowa, 52639. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on sharing, keep on talking about this, make your own video, hit me up on Facebook if you know someone who has an RV, if you know someone who has a camper, if you know someone who has a bus, if you know someone who drives semi, imagine having a semi down there to help hold the place. I know there are semi drivers right now. Hey, brother, I'm going to roll. Okay, my brother. I got to go back to the site. We'll be there. Wait okay, for you guys. Cool. So we've got lots of people coming down. We need more and more people. Bring your friends. Find people. Call people. Go through your phone book right now. Drop whatever you're doing. It's Sunday. And everyone here has dropped what they're doing. There are people who have walked away from their whole life. They've walked away from school that they've been at for years. They've walked away from jobs that they liked. They've walked away from everything to stand and protect this for the future generations. And now we're calling you to come and do your bit. Come and stand with us in peace. Come and stand with love in your hearts. Bring warm, warm clothes. It does get cold here at night. We are not camping. We're not able to camp in this space. But we do have an amazing cook at camp. We have more than one amazing cook at camp. We have people that can ferry food. We have locals that are helping us with that. So we have support here. We just need bodies. The only thing we're missing is bodies and vehicles, campers, RVs. I know someone out there has an RV. I know someone knows someone with an RV. I know someone knows someone who's a trucker. I know you guys can help. Just go through your phone book. Start thinking, oh yeah, my uncle's in Iowa. Oh yeah, I went to school with someone that plays plays football for one of the Iowa teams. You know, maybe you know someone who plays the Packers. Maybe you know someone who plays for um, the Vikings. Maybe you know someone with big money that can just buy a bus right now and bring it down here. Whatever, whoever, start thinking. Maybe you know someone who's an investor, a huge banker, who doesn't want this, who wants a future for their children. Maybe someone can throw down right now and buy an RV. There's RVs out there on Craigslist. Maybe some people here can pull together. Michelle, come and join us. Everyone needs to come and join us. Jordan Walker, Jordan Walker, we are standing with you guys. I know you're standing in solidarity at Standing Rock. We have just taken down here as peaceful protectors. We've, started, we've protected the only dump site for the toxic chemicals that come up from the drilling. While we're protecting this site, they can no longer drill. They can't drill any longer. So Jordan, can you mobilize anyone with a bus? Can you mobilize anyone with an RV to come down here and peacefully protect the address?
address is, and I will give it to you again, the address here is 2831 US Highway 61 in Montrose, Iowa, 52639. From a legal standpoint, the police attended, Lee County tent attended, and they told us as long as we were not had permanent structures there, we were on public property and a public easement, and we were able to take hold that space. So we had their actual approval, videoed approval to do this. So now we are move, mobilizing as many people to come and stand in that space and show their public support for the end of big oil, for the end of this pipeline that's destroying farms, taking farms away from 90-year-old widows, using imminent domain to have people arrested on their own property for trespass. Imminent domain is supposed to be for government use, it's not for big corporations. They're abusing their power, and they're abusing their power at Standing Rock. And it's time to stand up, because it is up to us. It's up to us to make sure the future generations don't have to sit by and see this. Make sure that they have a place to live. Make sure they have clean water. Make sure that they're able to see the same animals. They're able to have the same blessings, if not more, that we've all had. So I'm calling on you all to share this video. Keep sharing this video. And keep on coming down. Bring people down. If you can bring a carload of people down, great. We're going to stand all night. We are not going to move. We're going to do shifts of people standing there peacefully singing and praying, praying to have an end to this madness, praying for people to see a new way and keep that oil in the ground, praying that the green energy is going to come through. So guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off of here now and start networking with some people and see what we can find for RVs and buses and camper vans. Any of you can help with that. We're about one and a half hours from Iowa City. It's on the Missouri border. It's on the Illinois border. Check out where Sandusky, Iowa, Montrose, Iowa is. And bring people down. Anyone you know. If you can get a trucker down here, great. Um, maybe we're going to run around some of the truckers that are sleeping right now and see if we can get any of those down. Thank you everyone for joining and please keep sharing these feeds because this is how we get the news out. I've had numerous people who have come up and said they live 20 miles away from here. They didn't know about this until they saw the Mississippi Stand Live feeds and the, and the Facebook stuff. This is the way that we can educate. This is the way that we can make a change by all standing up. Yeah, I am breathing, don't worry. I breathe through my nose and talk at the same time. But thank you, Elizabeth. I'm glad you're looking out for me, sister. I love you. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can make this a post that's the but that's the pin post in the medicine tribe. Change that up from the rules and the regulations and get something in there to mobilize people because we need it. I love you. We've got a sacred fire at camp, so if people need to come and pray and have a safe place, we still have that for you. We have everything here for you. We just need people. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and chill in Walmart. As you can see, I've been in the sun a little bit. I'm gonna get some water. And uh, I hope to see some of you. If you need my phone number, you'll find it on my Facebook. If you want to send a message out to me, feel free to send me a message. If you're not subscribed to the live feed, subscribe so you see these coming up because these are going to continue. We're not going anywhere. We are protectors. We are not protesters. And we hold love in our hearts and we ask you to come and do the same. Peace.